What is goody everybody? Welcome back to another video. So guys, before we jump into today's video, I gotta bring the energy. I gotta get you pumped up. You're probably watching this right now. You're probably quiet. You're maybe a little bit sad. You're maybe a little bit down. You're kind of like, eh, yeah, it's Monday. Uh, it's Tuesday. Uh, it's Wednesday. Wake up, baby. Wake up. You're watching this video right now. So that means that you woke up this morning. So that means that you are winning. So all your stress, all your problems cannot phase you, cannot phase me because you and I are already winning, fam. So now that we got that out of the way, we are here at Walmart and I need some groceries, guys. I need some groceries. The only thing I have in my fridge are eggs. And yes, I love eggs, but I need some variety in my life, baby. So you guys know at this point in my life, I am trying to build muscle. I'm trying to make gains and I know you are too. So we're gonna go inside and we're gonna do a little shopping. I'm gonna teach you how I shop when I do grocery shopping. I kind of made it simple, right? Again, guys, my goal is I'm trying to build muscle. Uh, if I lose a little bit of body fat, that is okay too. I wanna build strength. So I need to get healthy quality foods, but guys, at a budget price because you know your boy Goody Beats is frugal and I've got a lot of money. So yes, I'm on a budget. We're going to do that on a budget. So enough talking. Let's go to Walmart and do some shopping. Okay guys, so the way I like to do my shopping is I like to break it down and keep it simple. What I like to shop for first is protein then fats, and then carbs. I've noticed that once I shop like that, it just makes it a lot simpler and a lot easier. So the first thing we're gonna find is protein, because obviously that is my main priority at this moment. I don't wanna freak anybody out. I know people are like, yo, we gotta get your fats, or you gotta get your carbs in. Don't panic, Hispanic, everything's gonna be okay. Let's go find some protein. Okay, so first up, we're gonna go with some ground turkey. I found some 8515 for 887, which is actually not a bad price. Now, there is this 937 that I was thinking about going with, but it's a dollar more. And since I'm not scared of fats, I said, what the heck, I'll just go with the 8515. So that is what we're gonna stick with. So that is the first item of the day. Next item, you guessed it, boneless, skinless chicken breast. And again, I'll explain my method to the madness at the end five pounds of chicken for under ten dollars that is an absolute steal right here packed with tons of protein so had to go with this and i always notice that the bigger you can find in bulk the cheaper the price is if i found a bigger package of chicken i would go with that but as that is the biggest chicken they have here so buying in bulk obviously is going to be a little bit cheaper so that is one pro tip when shopping okay so next up we got some ground beef right here 73 lean 27 fat so not bad this is going to be an awesome protein source for those of you who are new to the channel and probably wondering like dude why are you going with the high fat understand that i do a high fat high protein low carb diet so i don't want to freak any of you out Yes, you can lose body fat that way. So before you start bashing, it's like, bro, I do the high carb diet, low fat, and I'm losing weight. There are many, many ways it's gonna cap. Okay, so we're still on the hunt for protein, and I ran into this cooked shrimp. So I was looking at the macros, and it's actually not that bad. So for 80 grams of protein, you can get this for a little over $5. So it's $5.34. So that's really actually not that bad. 80 grams of protein for almost $5. I'll take it. Okay, so next protein source, and this is one of my favorites, and that's gonna be yogurt. I absolutely love yogurt, and for six servings, uh, I can get 17 grams of protein for about $5. So that comes out to 102 grams of protein for $5. Yes, I'll take it. Plus there's so much you can do with yogurt. So this is absolutely a must when it comes to searching for protein. Remember how I said earlier, I only have one thing in the fridge and that's eggs. Eggs would be my next option. And one tip guys, you can get these jumbo ones, you can get the 18, you can get the 36, but your best bet is gonna go with the 60s. That is how you're gonna get your bang for the buck. So if I didn't have eggs already at the house, I would go with the 60 eggs because that is gonna be the best deal. You can get 60 eggs for $5.92. That is absolutely insane. Eggs, 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 you can never have enough eggs. But unfortunately, I already have about 40 eggs at the house. I don't want to be the guy at the house who has 100 plus eggs, but that would be my next protein option right there. Okay, now that we got all our protein taken care of, it's time to move on to the fat. And one of my favorite fat items is going to be Kerrygold butter. Absolutely love Kerrygold butter. You can put this on anything, so have to go with the Kerrygold. Boom. Next item is going to be chopped pecans. Now, let me give you a pro tip, guys. You need to come to the baking section. That is where you're going to find the cheapest pecans. So, for these pecans, you can get these for $9.88. And look at, look at the macros, guys. We're looking at 20 grams of fat. 
one gram of net carbs and three grams of protein for ten dollars you absolutely cannot beat that this is going to make sure so i can get some fats in boom <laughs> All right, guys, I think we found a gem. So I found extra vinegar olive oil for $2.28. Like, you can't beat that. And again, like I said, guys, I like to break down my shopping into protein, fats, and carbs. That's why I'm strictly only looking for fats, and I'm going to add this to a lot of my foods to help me get my fats. And so I know a lot of you saying, like, yo, bro, you got that boneless chicken breast. That's just straight protein, bro. Where are you going to get your fats? Well, if I cook it in some olive oil, put some butter in it, add an avocado to it, add some of these pecans, well, then boom that's where i'm gonna get my fat so that's how i like to break down my shopping i've noticed once i did that it just made shopping so much easier and it just simplified it so next item extra vinegar olive oil for 228 that's an absolute steal all right guys so next item is going to be a little bit of nutella nutella is just so freaking good for you and I'm joking. <laughs> and that was rude. I know, I know, what am I doing to you guys? I know I'm teasing you, that, that, was, that was very awful of me. But unfortunately, Nutella does not fit this diet, does not fit my diet. And I will agree, yes, Nutella is phenomenal. It tastes so good. Uh, but unfortunately, you can't have it. I apologize. But the next best thing you can have is some creamy almond butter. I absolutely love almond butter. It is a great way to get your fats in. And this is actually not a bad price. So I can get this for under five dollars right here and this is gonna have 16 grams of fat per serving it tastes phenomenal help me get my fats in i can add it with my yogurt i can add it with my pecans and to get some really extra fats in if i want to but yes almond butter it's the next best thing that you can have uh besides nutella i think you cannot beat this mayo for 248 248 are you kidding me that is a steal and i can get 10 grams of fat with zero carbs and zero protein unfortunately but it's all good because I'm searching for my fat. So mayo is gonna be the next option. One thing I always get asked when uh, people are doing the ketogenic diet, they don't think that mayo is keto approved and it absolutely is great way to get your fats in. You could throw this on bunless burgers, many things you can do with mayo. So mayo is the next option for 248, that's a deal. Okay, if you guys know me, I love coffee. I cannot go a day without having coffee. And one thing I like about coffee is like it just kind of sets the tone for the day, especially when it comes to fats. And what I mean by that is heavy whipping cream. Heavy, heavy whipping cream. Okay, let's look for the best price. So 234, 278, okay. This is gonna be the best price right here. So um, for 234, I'm going to get five grams of fat per serving, but obviously I'm gonna use more than that. So heavy whipping cream is a good way to get your fats in, especially if you're a coffee drinker, add a little bit of this in your coffee and bada bing, bada boom, you're gonna get your fats in. So we have one more item and then we can move on to our carbs and then we're gonna move on to our controversial uh, subject, which we'll get there soon. Woo, look at this guys. Look how sexy these look. Avocados, medium size for 88 cents. There is no better way to get your fats in than having a nice avocado. So I'm gonna grab a couple of these and then that will close it out for the fats. Okay, now on to our final item and that is gonna be carbohydrates. One thing about when I'm searching for carbs, I really don't like to put much thoughts into it. Can I go to the fresh section and pick everything out individually? Yes, but you know me, I'm lazy about things, so I like to just go with the frozen section. And so what I'm gonna go with is the mixed veggies, and I'm gonna grab two of these bad boys. Now this is gonna have broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. Now you do have to be careful with carrots because it does have a little bit of sugar, but I'm not really gonna worry about it. And then literally guys, that's gonna knock out my vegetables uh, when it comes to looking for the carb source. Now, one thing I have to dive into, and I know a lot of people are gonna have uh, an opinion on this, but it's all good. So one thing about my ketogenic diet, the way I like to do it is I like to have refeed days, and I have refeed days about two, maybe three times a month. So I know a lot of you saying, like, yo, what is a refeed day? Like, wh what is that? Essentially what it is, is a carb up day. So the majority of my energy is gonna come from carbs. The majority of my calories are gonna come from carbs when most days they come from fats and proteins. So there is a method to the madness when I do my carb refeed days. I keep it very simple, guys. Very, very simple. There are only three carb sources that I have when I do my refeed day. And since I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up those items and talk a little bit about it. So 
let's go get them. That's right, you guessed it guys. Uh, one of my main carb sources for my refeed days are sweet potatoes. I absolutely love sweet potatoes. Uh, it's a staple when I do a carb refeed day. So I'm gonna grab a couple of these sweet potatoes and actually really not bad price guys, uh, $1.48. I'm probably gonna grab about three of those. Those should last me about a day for a refeed day. So my next item is gonna be jasmine rice. Now this is a little tricky. So I could go the cheaper route and buy a bag of jasmine rice, right? For only $5. Or I could do what I normally do is I get my Uncle Ben and these are just microwavable, but they're $2 a piece. Now, if jasmine rice was a staple in my diet, obviously I would go with the bigger bag because it's gonna save me money and I'm gonna eat a lot of it. But since I only do this two, maybe three times a month, my best bet is gonna be Uncle Ben's. It's convenient, I don't do this all the time, and two bags are gonna be enough for a carb refi day, if not only one, depending on how much sweet potatoes I eat that day. So, boom, Uncle Ben Jasmine Rice, that is my other preferred carb source on a refi day. Now we have one more item, let's go get it. And my last and final carb source for a refi day is oats. Like I said, I'm only gonna get the small one because I don't do this all the time, and quite frankly, it's my least favorite. Jasmine Rice probably being my first one then sweet potato and then oatmeal but that is essentially what I have on a refi day I'll have some oatmeal in the morning jasmine rice at lunch and then sweet potatoes for dinner and that is how I do a carb refi day now I don't want to dive too much into this topic because I'll make a video on this a little bit later but that is what I shop for when I'm trying to build muscle lose body fat build strength and maintain my muscle mass keeping it very short and simple guys now we're gonna go pay for this hopefully we got a pretty good deal hopefully we kept it under a hundred dollars i'm pretty sure we did but that is how i shop on a budget when i'm trying to build muscle lose body fat so let's go pay for this and see how much it costs and then when we go home we'll do a recap and then i got something else that i want to talk about <music> Okay guys, we made it out of Walmart successfully. Let's quickly do a recap. Mayo, extra vinegar, olive oil, yogurt, oats, ground beef, veggies, chicken, heavy whipping cream, sweet potatoes, jasmine rice, almond butter, butter, ground turkey, avocados, pecans, and shrimp. And that is my grocery haul to, boom, build muscle, stay lean, keep my strength and overall keep it under a budget as you guys know we kept it at 85 dollars, but we didn't buy the eggs the eggs were like five dollars plus so it would have been roughly around ninety dollars and my goal is to keep it under a hundred dollars so guys for those of you who are new to the channel uh i lost 70 pounds doing the ketogenic diet low carb and refeed day like process i've been doing this for seven years i've been training bodybuilding i built a good amount of muscle i've stayed lean now i'm not shredded but i've stayed pretty lean through those seven years and i've created a program called the ultimate keto burn program guys i'm so confident in it that that it's a hundred percent money back guarantee yes if you yes you if you're not satisfied no questions asked you can have your money back that's how confident i know that this diet will work for you because it's not even like a diet i don't even look at it as a diet anymore it's more of a lifestyle so as you guys know i'm not one of these guys who's like anti-carbs hey i incorporate carbs just like anybody else i use it as a tool i use a high fat diet as a tool to stay lean to keep my muscle mass i incorporate refeed days and take advantage of that glycogen storage so Anyways, guys, I hope you did like the video. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, please let me know. Give it a thumbs up. Please share it on your Facebook, guys. That's the best way for us YouTubers to get discovered. As always, guys, I love you. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.